Welcome back to Data Sciency. Today, I'll be telling you about Pudo Robotics, the launch Pudo D9 Humanoid Robot. So I'll be telling you all about this robot. So stay tuned until the end so that you don't miss any information regarding it. So let's get into it. So how Pudo Robotics, they launches Pudo D9 Humanoid Robot. As you can see here, this picture in which a humanoid robot is carrying a box here you can see that this is the Pudo D9 humanoid robot and it includes the DH11 advanced manipulators. So Pudo Technology, which is a Chinese based company, they unveiled the first full size bipedal humanoid robot, the Pudo D9. The Shenzhen, the China based company, said that it is aiming for commercially viable embodied intelligence with the Pudo D9, which they said will be soon be available for pre-sale through its official website. And Felix Zhang, the founder and CEO of Pudo Robotics, he said that customer satisfaction has always been the core of Pudo's values. Moving forward, we will continue to explore technology driven by customer needs and pain points. And he also says that our extensive experience in the commercial service sector will help accelerate the maturity of semi-humanoid and humanoid robots, allowing more people to enjoy the convenience of robotic services. Because if I tell you about this company, which is Pudo Robotics, it's actually focused on research and development, manufacturing and sales of service robots. So are they actually manufacture and sell the service robots and this company also claimed that it holds more than 1000 authorized patents worldwide in which it encompassing a wide range of core technologies and these robots have widely been adopted in various industries in which it is dining retail hospitality healthcare entertainment education and manufacturing and also they have shipped more than 80,000 units into markets in more than 60 countries and regions worldwide. So Pudo D9 is actually, it has been built on the recent release. So before there was the semi-humanoid robot Pudo D7 and the dexterous hand Pudo DH11. The mixture of these two things, they made the third product which is Pudo D9. And First of all, the height of it is 170 centimeter. So it's 170 centimeter, 66.9 inch. The tall means it's the height and it weighs 65 kg. So it has the 65 kg weight like the adult humans, like 143.3 LB. The Pudo D9 features 42 degrees of freedom across the joints, means there's 42 degrees of freedom across the joints with a maximum joint torque of 352 Nm, means the how they can movement, the movement of the joints, it has the 42 degrees of freedom and it is also equipped with the previously released Pudo DH11, which in which there's the human like bipedal walking and the dual hand operational capabilities. As you can see here, this is the Pudo D9 in which it showcases the mobility means it, it is walking, the obstacle navigation, it navigates the obstacle, the slope climbing and also performing ground cleaning tasks using the Pudo SH1. If we have a look at this video, here you can see they are showing their robot which is the Pudo D9 robot. Their whole thing, like the joints, it has the legs and it has the arms, the robotic arms. So it is kind of humanoid robot, which is name is Pudo D9. So you here it's seeing the full size bipedal humanoid robot. So because you see the the foot of it is like the shoes, and you can see how it is walking like an average adult human. So it is walking like the human. Okay. It has also the robust disturbance rejection means if you click it, it won't get kicked. So the tool operation also, it can operate the tool also. Here you can see how it is doing the ground cleaning with the another robot means it is like 
using the, uh, the other robot to clean the ground and also it detects the dirt the posture adjustment it does the posture adjustment also means it is not like fully bent or something like that. it is straight and there is terrain adaptability means if it is going to a slope so it can adapt to it like you can see the slope is kind of 10 degrees above and here you can see how it is adaptable to it so it is walking on it and here you can see it is coming soon this robot has many capabilities which i'll be telling you about in this video first of all as i already told you it has 42 degree of freedom the maximum walking speed is two meter per second it's two meter per second walking speed means it walks slowly and the payload is more than 20 kgs means it can carry weight more than 20 kgs because the robot can carry weight more than 20 kgs because it's a commercial robot so of course it has the principle of born to serve so of course it will help you in carrying the heavy stuff it can be your suitcase it can be your grocery bags so it can help you to carry if you buy this robot so it has many capabilities the Pudo D9 robot. First of all, the dynamic mobility means it walks at speeds which is comparable to that of adults, which is reaching up to two meter per second on flat surfaces. And another thing about it, it can easily navigate stairs, slopes, and other challenging urban terrains. And how it will utilize the advanced algorithm, it achieves the lightweight gate control. It minimizes noise during operation in human environments. It has the amazing navigation system, which is equipped with high accuracy sensors that allows for real time 3D semantic mapping, which will provide the D9 with the understanding of the surroundings. So it can understand what the nearby surrounding is, where are the stairs, where are the slopes, how to walk it, whether to minimize the noise when there are humans or in the environment of the humans. So it has to minimize the noise or not so that it can do. Here you can see how it is carrying a box, a carton. Here you can see the robot is carrying. The second is precision manipulation. So how it is equipped with the two seven degree of freedom robotic arms. It boasts a payload of capacity which is exceeds 20 kgs. As I already told you, more than 20 kgs it boasts a payload and when it is paired with the Pudo DH11 dexterous hand means the hands that on the robot there is that is the Pudo DH11 hand and it also excels in executing the delicate tasks across a wide range of applications and of course after years of research and development along with the reinforcement learning algorithms it can rapidly learn from extensive data sets means many type of data sets it can learn, rapidly learn from it and then it can execute the task which is required to meet the various goals or demands. Here you can see how it is doing the carrying the box or like you know the stuff from the grocery. And the third capability it has, it has the natural interaction. So it has the high precision visual, tactile, force and auditory sensors which helps it to collect the information from its environment means the multimodal information through eyes through the sensors by the image by the video it can gather the information now this what it helps now this processing framework which integrates with the advanced ai model so it achieves the human level multimodal natural interactions in which it enhances the quality and responsiveness of the services it provides for example it is kind of talking so here if you see with the introduction of the Pudo d9 Pudo robotics they established the product lineup that includes specialized yeah, semi that includes specialized semi-humanoid and humanoid robots and this company aims to achieve the commercially viable embodied intelligence so that's all i can tell you about the Pudo Robotics, you can have a look more at the products. What more products does Pudo Robotics are providing? There are like the commercial cleaning products, there are delivery robots, there is industry delivery robots, there's Pudo X Lab, and there are many robots. You can also contact them and also pre order them if you want. And also, they have the social media links, which is on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. 
So you can follow them on the social media channels. And they have the presence in more than 60 countries and regions worldwide. So that's all I can say about P9 Robotics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more AI updates. And do comment whether you like this robot or not. So that's all from my side. Bye-bye.